We were in Matthew chapter 3 yesterday looking at the baptism of Jesus and John the Baptist being the person to baptize him. As most of you know, they are cousins, and you can go through and look at the lineage where these two are actually related to one another. John the Baptist knew that someone special was coming. He knew there was someone that was greater than him that was coming in place of him, and that person was known as the Messiah. And when Jesus chose to be baptized, he was roughly the age of 30, and he chose at this point to have John the Baptist baptize him. Why would he wait until this time? Well, if you look at it biblically, it's the announcement. It is the beginning. It is the start of Jesus' ministry, his public ministry. And it's also at this time when John the Baptist hands off his ministry to the one that he knows as his Messiah. Now, if you've been sprinkled as a young child, and once again, I have been sprinkled as a young child, there is nowhere in the Bible where it says that an infant or a child has to be baptized. And yet, for some reason, many churches believe that that has to take place. Luther actually felt that there was some kind of special power that came from that. And in Catholicism, they also choose to sprinkle children. Is this wrong? Well, we can't say that it's wrong. Is it right? We can't say that either. We just know that in the Bible, there's no evidence of this taking place. I share that because once again, as we will see this week, this is a choice as far as being baptized. And Jesus made the choice to be baptized at this time to announce publicly his ministry. 